There are four issues with static analysis tools today. Number one, a lot of them are actually closed sourced and incentivized to be closed sourced. And I can't tell you how many ChatGPT wrapper tools I've tried that have just told me to NPM install Foundry. Number two, they're open sourced and slow. Number three, they are not Rust and Rust is really having a moment right now. If Georgios could have it his way, he would rename the EVM to the ReVM. He would rename Solidity to Relidity. He would rename Geth to, uh, oh wait. And number four, they're not bird themed. And this is where a Darren comes into view. Now, of course, if you've gone through the Cypher and Updraft Security and Auditing full course, you have been introduced to a Darren. But I would like to reintroduce a Darren to you today because it's going through some massive upgrades. The idea behind a Darren is a package that makes it easy to add detectors that run incredibly quickly. You can write detectors based on the actual AST generated by the Solidity compiler, allowing you to go incredibly granular into what you want to build for your detector. And we're going to create some incentives to build more detectors on this tool so that we can actually keep Web3 safer now that we're going to have faster static analysis tools with the backing of the open source community. To get started working with the Darren, you can come to the GitHub repo, link in the description, scroll down to the installation instructions. You'll need Rust and Cargo installed in order to install a Darren, and you can just run Cargo install a Darren and run it in your terminal. Once the tool is installed, you can open up any Foundry-based smart contract project. I'm working on the Foundry DeFi stablecoin from the Cypher Updraft curriculum, and all you have to do is run a Darren dot in your terminal, and it'll automatically run all the detectors and print you out an automated report in report.md. We can open up the Adherent analysis report, get a table of contents, and literally have an audit report written for us on a lot of the low hanging fruit, easy to find bugs. This saves auditor time so that they don't have to spend all this time on doing write-ups for these really low hanging fruit and can actually spend time on more interesting, more novel, more niche bugs in your code base. And additionally, as you're writing your code base, you can run a Darren to improve your code base as you're writing it. Running the help command, we can see a list of different options we can add to our CLI. If we only want a certain scope, if we want to exclude dependencies or certain libraries or deploy scripts, if we don't want to see lock or we want to skip actually doing the build, the report itself actually comes with even more than just the number of bugs and the number of issues it actually has a little bit of a NSLOC calculator so that if you're an auditor and you're looking to calculate based off of the NSLOC, that's right in the Darren tool for you. To see a list of all the detectors that Darren is currently running, you can run Darren registry and you'll see a list of all the different detectors currently being run on your code base. This list is only going to get larger and larger as the open source project grows bigger and bigger. So looking forward to more people trying out this Rust based bird themed static analysis tool. Keep building safer, have fun getting froggy, and we'll see you next time.